Wow, sun is doing me dirty. Hello. Wow, this is absolute horrendous lighting. Is this better? Wow, that's a great angle. Hello everyone, welcome back. We are doing a reading vlog today. Probably some of my favorite types of vlogs to film and edit. They're just so cozy and I'm all about the cozy vibes, especially for fall. I'm in my little fall outfit because I am at Barnes and Noble. I am, I'm at Barnes and Noble. I'm at the good old B and N people. So it's about 5.45 right now at night. I am going to just spend a couple hours here reading. I have a little bit of homework to do as well, but I'm really into the reading vibes right now. I've been saying vibes a lot in this video so far. Great start. My book is so good right now. I'm reading Good Girls, The Good Girl's Guide to Murder series. I'm on the third book, which I think is Good Girl Bad Blood. I'll put the title up here. I forgot what it's called at the moment. The books just keep getting better. First book, yes, very good. Second book, even better. Third book, so good. I've only been reading it for a day and I'm already halfway through. And it's not like I've been sitting down reading for hours and hours and hours. So that's how you know that it is a good book. The plan is to go into the Starbucks in Barnes and Noble and just chill. Maybe browse around a little bit. I mean, I'll be here anyway. Might as well, right? I'm in the mood to read so bad more than I was for summer. It was not a big reading summer for me. It is a reading fall for me. Okay. Okay. I don't even know what I'm talking about anymore. I'm just going to go inside now. today. I had church. I got home around 1. Since I had to get up at 4.45 this morning, <laughs> I took a nap for about two hours. Sunday, I let myself nap. I let myself lay in bed. And then I also always plan my week on Sundays as well so that tomorrow morning I can get up and just be ready to go and don't feel stressed. So I took a couple hours of nap and then I woke up and my parents had dinner ready, so I ate dinner. We had some fish and chips, so... And I've read a little bit today. I'm about 65% done with this book. Every time I get to the 70, 75% mark, it pretty much flies by, so... I'm hoping to finish this in the next hour, hour and a half. Honestly, the first half of the book was so great. Come on, come on. Okay, you go, baby. So the first half of the book was really, really good. So the person that ended up being the bad guy or whatever, I knew it was them. On the other two books, I like did not, it was like, I had no idea. Like I would not have guessed it, but this book, I actually guessed the person. And then when it revealed, like they revealed who it was, I was like, I knew it. Like it was so obvious. Like I don't know if it was purposely so obvious or if it was just like me catching on to the series. I don't know, but it was like really obvious. And then we get to a twist that, we get to a plot twist that not my favorite. The way that the book has turned, I don't know. I was a little disappointed by it. I don't know, maybe it'll redeem itself a little bit. Like it's not the end of the world, but like it, does bring my rating down from how the book was going. It's still a great read, like I still recommend the series 100%, but she tried to make the third book a little bit different from the first two in the way that the ending kind of is, but I liked the endings of the first two books. I do like the way that the main character is very dynamic and she's changing a lot. You know, she doesn't stay the same throughout the whole entire series. Yeah, so I was just slightly disappointed when I was reading last night at Barnes and Noble, and then I came home and read 
in bed. I couldn't stop reading because I was at the like pivotal point and I could not stop reading even though I had to get up super early the next morning, but it was just too good to stop. I've been reading for a good amount today and I'm going to continue reading. I love being in the reading moods. I love it, especially for fall time. It's so cozy. But anyways, let's keep reading. to coming i'm not gonna lie and if it ends the way it's going which i feel like there might be like a twist and i have a guess about what it could be but if there's no twist and it ends the way that it's going that will be such a sad ending to the series and i really 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 hope it's not that i'm 90 percent done i'm like pretty much almost done i'm really coming to the closing part and it's really getting the emotions going here so <laughs> First of all, I'm sitting here like, is this a three book series? There's no way it ends like this. It's three books, so I don't know what is going on. Ah, oh, four novels? Wait a second. Wait a second. I always thought it was three books. Wait a second. Wait, it is three books. I'm so confused. Why did Google lie to me for a second? Wait, let's look at this. Okay, I'm confused. Okay, there is apparently a fourth book. I don't know if it was just like a, what's it called, a sequel? I always thought it was a three book series and now all of a sudden I'm seeing that there's another book. I don't know, I need to finish this book and then do some research on it. Okay, bro, this is so sad. This is so sad. There's no way it ends like this. There's no way. There has to be an epilogue. There has to be. Okay, so now we fast forwarded to the future in this next chapter. And if you have not read this series, you're probably really confused what I'm talking about. But if you have read this series, then you probably know the emotional roller coaster that I'm going on right now. I was not expecting this. Like her books have been, have like ended good. And this is like the most heart wrenching one. <laughs> say how it ended because if you want to read this I don't want to give it away but all I gotta say is that it is a bunch of ups and downs and ups and downs I do kind of want to go look and see if there's the fourth book and what it's about because apparently this is a thing oh that makes sense it hasn't even been like released yet it comes out in February Yep, I already have another book lined up, but I use this thing called a Libby app. I've talked about this before. All right, this is a wrap on reading. Would I recommend that series? Yes, five out of five stars for the whole series as a whole. The, as you go through the three books in the series, each book just keeps getting better and better and better. I don't know how she does it, but it got me out of a reading slump. So that's when you know it's a good book. If it gets you out of a reading slump and makes you want to read, read, read. The next book that I will be reading and plan on vlogging it 
is The Midnight Library. It's a popular book for like book talk and stuff. So I honestly don't even know what it's about. I'm not even gonna lie, but that's gonna be the end of my reading vlog because I'm so tired. But I hope you enjoyed. I love reading and I just like sharing with you when I'm reading. I'll give you some book recommendations and I definitely recommend this series. So good. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you guys next time. Go spread the love with Jesus this week. Bye.